Well, we're back in the shop again, and here Brad is working on the dump truck, and we just, well, Brad's really just recently purchased this actuator, and it's just now come in the mail, literally hot off of the mail truck, out of the package, and this is the dump actuator to, act the, well, automatically dump the bed. It's going to be ran on the third channel of a Flysky GT3C transmitter, you see right there, and so this is just a test of the actuator to make sure it's actually going to work. Go for it, Brad. So there's full extension and retract and all the way in. What Brad's doing now is he's checking the endpoints to make sure that on channel three we actually have full adjustment in and all the way out. So that's what we're checking right now. Looks like it was set at 35%. We're going to bring it all the way back down to 100. Hey Brad, bring your transmitter over here so we can see what you did on the camera there. So this one, it's kind of, you know, you have to play with it a little bit to get a feel for it. Um, but what we learned is, here I'll start from the beginning. So when you first get your transmitter, it's going to be sitting on model. You're going to either scroll to the right or the left, left works quicker, and you hit end point. I'm hoping you guys can see that, it's kind of small. It says E point, there in the top right. And down below it says end point adjuster you hit enter and then scroll over to channel 3 which is the channel you want um, and then you hit end to actually get over to the where you can adjust um, it took us a while to figure that part out but once you figure that out then you just scroll your toggle and as you can see if you change where the end points at it that's what makes the actuator do so that way when we bring the bed all the way back down we can set where we want the actuator to stop that way it doesn't keep trying to pull and pull the bed down into the frame of the truck right so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing mocked up make a couple of brackets and try and get it put together for you all and just bear with us we'll get this thing done in a jiffy thanks All right, Brad, tell us where you're at right now. Well, right now, I am working on how to mount my receiver, which has already been mounted. I'm really just remounting it, but now we got all these extra wires. So right now, it's okay. cable management, cable management, cable management. All right, making sure you get everything tucked away. Correct. So um, guys, as you can see, we got the, Brad's got the actuator installed, got the bracket made that's riveted down to the main chassis of the dump truck. Also made two more mounts for the rear of the cab to keep it from bouncing up and down as much because we have a lot of weight in the cab of the truck. We have a 3000 milliamp hour 3S LiPo. We got a Castle Creations VEC installed. Everything's running off an AE2 Axial ESC. Uh, we got the receivers in there. I mean, literally all the other electronics minus the motor are underneath the cab right now. And so we have to make sure that cab is nice and secure and it doesn't flop all over the place. and bounce those electronics around too bad or break the cab mount that we already had. We'll bring you in closer for a better look. All right, now we're moved in close, got all the electronics set up inside the truck. You can see the AE2, the receiver, underneath the receiver is the Castle Creations BEC, set at six volts because that is what this actuator um, can run at. Tactic Servo comes stock on an SCX-10 or a Wraith. Uh, pretty decent little servo for what we're doing. It doesn't need to be waterproof. None of this rig is waterproof and that's okay with us because I don't think Brett plans on making it into some crazy dump truck mud runner. Well, we maybe might see something like that in the future. But anyway, that's what she looks like under the cab. Now to get it mounted. The dump truck is done.
This dump truck had spent most of its life when Brad was a younger child in his sandbox. Until we got into the RC hobby, Brad realized, duh, why not put some axles, transmission, radio, ESC, servo, uh, lift actuator, and pretty much make this into a fully functional remote control truck that Brad can now enjoy as an adult. So, as you just witnessed, we've installed this actuator. Where'd you order it from? Fergelli Technologies, they are a company in Canada, actually. And it's a pretty smooth actuator. Not too awful expensive, but it was a little pricey. Probably the most expensive single item on the entire dump truck, but that's okay, because now it does this. What's its lift capacity? I believe it's 10 pounds with six volts. 10 pounds on six volts. We do have this entire truck running off a Castle Creation VEC, and that VEC is set at six volts via the castle link yeah, yeah. so it is for technologies incorporated so what's their website for all right f-i-r-g-e-l-l-i we will put a link in the description below there you go so guys if you all have a tonka truck of your own and you're wanting to see how to build one or just to get some ideas for your next project we're glad you stopped by and we'll have more about this truck in upcoming videos. Stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you on the trails. Bye now. Battery out.